I probably don't look my best here, but this is going to be a, it's going to be a tough day. It is 10 a.m. and it's already apparently 30 degrees, and we're getting ready to go now for a 25k cycle. Uh, where we're going, I'm not quite sure, but I think it'll be stunning, and uh, really looking forward to it. Everyone has uh, got nervous smiles on their face. Plenty of sun cream, actually. I mean. Put already sun cream my arm and it's burnt it off so this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. I am absolutely knackered. We've only done four and a half miles on day one, and uh, we've just done a climb. I think three miles of that four and a half was uphill. Uh, I'm not too proud to say I had to give off the push, absolutely roasting. Uh, however, excitingly enough, in the first sort of. Hold on, there's some food coming in here. Oh, nice. We've got some dates since. Oh, that's pretty Thank you. First sort of half a mile in. Getting all bravado, going through this little gate, thought I'd uh, use my momentum to get up the other side and nose dived. Yeah. And I've got a little dot dot mini. Oh no. So, that was the first crash of the day. Five minutes later, young Tom, our youngest team member, 21 last Monday. Do you want to talk us through your crash, Tom? Two. <laughs> Three. Two. Three. Nah, we're coming down a quite a steep deep line. Um, the ground turned very, very soft and sandy. Um, Right, too hard, locked, and I went straight over. Straight over the horns. Good bird. Got a little scar. Oh, it's damn. okay. It's all right. Probably. Interesting thing about Tom is uh, he's from Wolverhampton, but that's not his worst point. His worst point is he works for Celtic Quest, yeah? <laughs> he's, he's, he's sneaked on to our, uh, our trip back here. And look at the top he's wearing. Look at the top he's wearing. Yeah. I've got such a likeable personality, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He can fit in anywhere. He's a comedian. <laughs> I gotta say, I got the top there, I was a bit worried, my pulse was 166. But we got it, and Jeff, we've gone from Tom the youngest what to Jeff the oldest. Oh, Carl's three days older. But I didn't have 188 heart rate. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can go out with one. might be. What was your heart rate? 182. It's quite high. Water is boiling. Enjoying it? Yeah, very much. It's nice to be away. Nice to be out of Pembrokeshire, isn't it? Struggling? Yeah. No, no, not at all. I feel good at the moment. Not, not a, I thought I'd struggle with the heat. Not a bead of sweat. Oh, I thought I got this one. <laughs> no, I'm really worried about the heat. He is a killer. There, not so bad. But that was good.
Look at that. Like a sugar. Save it. Oh, lovely. Push, push, push. push. Start of day two in the mountains, and uh, we've uh, they are actually building this road, but it looks like they're actually building the road for us to cross, pass, uh, pass through the pass, so to speak. There's no road at the moment, is there? No, there is no road. Closest towns to Marrakesh. So, and we're yeah. going to start our riding of our bikes from here. And we're gonna hide in to get through the Berber villages. We're gonna get into the Berber uh, yeah, nice. So, we're gonna have a nice day. Yeah, it's been a uh, like, long driving, but we're gonna have a nice ride with you. Yeah. Welcome to Morocco. Buzzing for it now. I've got a journey. It's hot. My legs are sore from yesterday. My backside sore. But uh, just look at that. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. It's, uh, the problem I've had my bike is the suspension. Apparently, uh, 97 kilos is too heavy. <laughs> you can't handle it. Can't handle it. All good. Can't handle it. Which places you could be? You getting ready, Carl? Yeah. Buzzing. Ah, buzzing. That's because I have washed my top or my trousers or nothing. <laughs> That's why I'm buzzing. So don't tell anybody about that. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense that is good. Yeah, it's more money. Pro wants to make the tea. I mean, so you guys want to get a start before the tea? Yeah, pass them over. We have to... Fair play, look at... They've just done that. I know. They've done that. Off the cuff, like, yeah? All fresh nuts. Was this a last minute thing? I saw Mohammed knocking on a few doors. It's just like... This wasn't planned to stop here. You don't know this person? No, we didn't know him. It just Mohammed, he was looking for any house. He was pushing the door, but right. I think there's no one. No one and he came here and the, 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 he found that person. Yeah. So, one of the yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, look Find someone like you. Never mind. There is. 
the village down to Sandwich. Is there? So this is their way up to their village? I mean, it's a massive hotel. He's had a puncture. It's probably about the 18th puncture between us in the last few days, but uh, it's quite well relieved actually. We, we quite welcome a puncture so we can sit around, have a chat, get our breath back, know that we're going to survive for the next sort of five, ten minutes <laughs> without any incident, and, uh, and just enjoy the scenery. Uh, one thing they did say, mine, this, this track was protected on both sides with bushes, but I don't call bushes like that with a 500 foot drop as protection. No. Ride within your ability, isn't it? <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> but if you haven't got any ability, you're yeah, well, yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> you got it. Can, can we see your war wounds? We'll compare war wounds over here. Right then. Compare war wounds. Oh, well, I've got to know. A little bit on the hip there. Oh! Yeah, it's coming out. Oh, yeah, we got that on camera as well. I mean, I did, did have that. That's, uh, uh, no, that's a nasty one. Shit. Just goes to show how, how well I heal. Must be healthy, like, yeah? Thanks for watching the uh, video, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you want to be involved in the next adventure that we do or the next trip to Morocco, please do give us, uh, send us an email or give us a ring. Uh, thank you very much.